Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're talking about qualifiers. It is easy to guess because we're moving just from left to right within these tools. Now qualifiers are used to actually qualify a certain portion of the video because sometimes you cannot achieve what you want. You cannot separate a certain color within your scene just by using these primaries or, or even high dynamic range color wheels. In this particular case, you are going to use qualifiers. First of all, I always thought that we have only one qualifier HSL, which is not the case. This is the one that I would typically use because I had no idea the others existed, but they actually exist. We have also an RGB qualifier, we have luminance quali qualifier, and we have 3D qualifier. Nice, let's go over them and see what they do. If you open your qualifier tab, the first thing that is going to open qualifier HSL and you have a color picker to select the portion of the video that you want to qualify. So let's try to qualify his skin because like a typical Hollywood style image is like normal or slightly orangey skin and bluish background. So let's try to do something like that within this scene that we have. Let's select our skin and it automatically changed to, I don't know why it did automatically change to highlight mode. If it didn't, typically it doesn't, you need to click this button or press Shift H to enable uh, highlights in order to see what you're doing. And these highlights, it has two different modes. This one is the main one, which is called, let's see, highlights. Yeah, it is called highlights. It is going to show you which portion you are selecting right now and which one is going to be left out of this selection. The next to it, it's called highlight BW, black and white. This one is used to fine tune, to remove all of these blockings, to remove the portions that you are missed. So let's try to refine this selection. Once I've selected the skin of our character, we can see that qualifier gave us a certain range of hues, certain range of saturations, and certain range of luminance. But this selecting just too much. We do not need this portion, we do not need this portion. And there are several ways how you can fine-tune this image within your qualifier. First of all, you can go to these speakers add and subtract in order to refine your selection. For example, I want to subtract this portion from our selection. It's subtracting actually everything because <laughs> this is the same color as our skin, which is not what I want. Okay, let's subtract this portion. Great, nice subtraction. Sometimes it doesn't work. Let's use uh, feather, subtract and feather add. This one is not going to be that aggressive. It is going to subtract and add very gently. Let's try to subtract that. And it's not going to uh, cooperate with me. Thank you very much. So let's move to the actually the method that you will use most of the time. And this is manual selection, manual control of the parameters in here. First of all, I'm going to drag the center of my selection left and right to see what I'm actually grabbing. This one looks like the right portion. Now I'm going to reduce the width of my selection to remove everything else that I actually do not like to be selected. Okay, this one looks okay. We could play with saturation, but our image is actually approximately evenly saturated in all of the areas. That's why it's not going to give us a great result. Now the luminance. The luminance, the luminance, the luminance allows us to cut the brightest parts out of the selection and to cut, for example, the blackest parts. So this is the best that I could do right now with these controls. So let's use this matte finesse in order to finesse <laughs> our image. Prefilter is going to remove these uh, uh, like separate pixels because this is the image that was sh that was shot in RAW 6K and I did nothing to it. That's why we have some like noise, for example, these these separate dots. 
Prefilter is going to apply something. I'm not going to go into details because I have no idea what it's doing, but it's going to remove these points, allowing us to greatly control our selection. Now, clean black and clean white is actually, actually, it's actually self-explanatory because it is going to clean black and clean white portions of our selection. Now, black clip is going to change the black point which is not going to do much in our selection. White clip, the same thing, but goes for the white. Blur radius. You just play with these parameters until you're satisfied with what you have. There is no, like, exact science in here. Morph operation, shadows, morph radius, mid-tones, denoise. Denoise is doing something really interesting highlights and post filter so this is the selection that we have created but we do not actually want to change the color of the skin we want to change the color of everything else but the skin so in this case we need to press this thing what is which is called invert it is going to invert our selection shift h to disable highlight in order to see what we're doing and now we can change color and see that our selection is a little bit garbage. This is the case in which you're going to use windows to select the portion that you need. But we're going to get to that. Right now I'm going to show you a different way how you can invert your qualifier. You can go to this tab, which is called key and invert qualifier in here or invert the whole key input. But it's easier to do in here because we have a separate button that is going to invert our selection. Now let's reset everything and go to RGB. RGB, it's not going to care about the saturation, about the luminance values. It's going to care only about the red, green and blue channels separately. This way, if you have something that does not really contain a lot of red, you could just almost disable this in order to get a clean qualifier. So let's try to do the same thing, but with RGB qualifier. Selecting skin, enabling highlight. And this is what uh, the RGB qualifier has selected for us. Now, this is still far from being perfect. So let's drag everything in here until we are kind of satisfied with what it's doing. I don't think we're going to be satisfied with what it's doing, but you get the point. It is using R, G and B values in order to qualify the thing that you want to qualify. The third one is called luminance, and it's actually two portions of this qualifier disabled and leaving us only with luminance. I do not know, I do not really know why they have this as a separate tool, because I can have this disabled in the qualifier HSL and get the same thing as this one. Right? Right. Not really sure why they did that. And um, actually, there is a really interesting trick how you can select the brightest portions of your image and the darkest portions of your image, depending on what you actually need. You can increase the softness, softness of your high or your low and then enable highlight. It is enabled and drag this selection until you have selected the thing that you need. Now let's reduce the softness yeah, to something like this. And this way I can select and change color only of my highlights if I invert my selection, actually. I can change only the color and uh, the contrast, for example, and any other parameter of the thing that I have selected using only the luminance slider. This is actually this tool, but done within the qualifier HSL. Let's reset this.
Now, the last one is actually a very powerful tool when you want to remove green screen from your footage because it's got a separate tool that is called Dispill. Dispill is going to reduce the green cast that is going to appear when you're trying to do the green screen scene. So let's try to use that. 3D qualifier is used this way. You just drag a line and it's going to select everything within this line. If you want to subtract something, for example, I definitely do not need this hat. I'm going to drag this line on the hat and the hat is not going to be included. The same thing goes for his hoodie and we have done almost a good selection. We have different modes for that. The soft one, the flat one, the tight one, and the luma one. You can play with them, you can look which one goes, uh, which one works best in the uh, DaVinci Resolve manual. We have a description for them, but I'm not gonna to not go in really to bother with that because you need to, in your particular situation, just change them and to see what each of them is doing. But by the name, you probably can guess what it's going to do. And in order to refine our selection, we have additional controls in here. For example, this is the tolerance, of the chroma, chroma and luma adjustment. So as you can see, I'm increasing the tolerance and it's including bigger and bigger portions to the image. Now, this is the softness. So let's increase or decrease softness. And as you can see, the image, the selection that we are making is changing in here. And now we can change these parameters in order to select something a little bit different or to refine our selection using it to move our selection uh, along X, along Y axis. And uh, this one is going to rotate it. Then these are low, high, low, soft and high, soft. So you can select or deselect lower portions of the image, meaning shadows, highlights. You can enable it to include some highlights in your selection or to remove them. And these one are going to do pretty much the same thing, but using the softness of this selection. So it's not going to be that aggressive. And looking at, looking at the waveform, you can actually see that I'm including some of the highlights using high soft uh, control. This pill is going to, as I said before, remove the green cast when you are working with the green screen. And matte finesse, the same thing as before, is going to allow you to finesse your selection to your liking. Right? Something like this. I'm not doing a good job because I do not really care right now. This is not the part of this tutorial. Uh, and I actually do not really like qualifiers because they can screw everything up. By the way, you need to remember that the qualifier is working with the information that is being fed to this particular node. What does it mean? I'm going to create a node before this and I'm going to apply to this node uh, noise reduction. I'm going to increase this parameter, I'm going to increase this parameter and I made, I made this image softer. This way, if I'm trying to select something to qualify our skin again, it is going to give us a totally different look because it's using it is using the information from the previous node in order to qualify whatever we want to qualify. So if you have done something that is not great, for example, if I push everything to a particular color and then I'll try to qualify his skin, this is not going to do a really good job because I've just screwed the information up that I was going to qualify later. So this is the qualifier and I was talking about using windows. We're going to talk about that later, but I'm going to give you an example. For example, for instance, I'm going to qualify his skin and this is what I get. But I'm not satisfied because it includes everything in the background. I'm not going to really work on it right now, but you get the point. Uh, I do not want uh, this to be included in this one and I, I do not have a way how I can remove that from my selection. In this case, I'm going to use a window. I'm going to create a window around my selection that I really, really need. 
and then I'm going to track it. I'm going to show how to do that in the next episode. But I'm going to select it. And this way, now if I'm changing something, not within this node, if I'm, if I'm changing something and I need to do this the opposite way, it means that I include in the portion that I have qualified that is within this window. I can select uh, everything that I need. And as you can see, the qualifier is not going to work beyond this window. So using qualifiers and windows, you can really, really fine tune the, your selection. Also, you can uh, select something and apply your qualifier in the parallel nodes, not within the same node. For example, I'm going to create a parallel node from this one and do my qualifying work within this particular node. Let's enable that, do something yada yada, apply our window. And this particular portion is going to remain untouched. But I'm going to select the top uh, window and I'm going to do everything that I want in here but this portion is going to be fed from the original image. This way it is easy to do some selection using windows and qualifiers and then change the rest of uh, the image that you have not selected. So this has been everything that I wanted to say about the qualifier. In the next lesson we're going to talk about windows and tracking. Thank you everybody for watching, for being here. I will see you in the next video. Bye.